So Steve Jobs said, love what you do, right? And do, uh, and do great work. So what aspect of your role would you tell Steve Jobs that you love? And we start with an easy one. <laughs> Passionate. For me, passion means that you, you spend so much time on, on, on your work. Um, so it better be something you really like and enjoy. I mean, not every day is that you're walking around with a big smile on your face, but at least, I mean, you should enjoy what you're doing, uh, working with colleagues, working on the, the content, um, the, the culture uh, that, that you, you work in. So I think that, that is key. Um, and for me, the uh, being big passionate, of course, is also having the, the opportunity to, to grow. And as as leader, what what I at least try to to bring as much as possible is, is support to the the team. Invest. 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 In people. In people. In people. In people. In people. Investing in people for me is. Sharing time, focus, experience, and nice dynamic collaboration. My role as a leader is to enable people to show their excellence, to create an environment where they can thrive, where they can show creativity. Helping the team to, to get the responsibility to get things done seeing people grow based on 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 maybe small small nudges i gave them uh, is very um, fulfilling as a leader and so to to be in close contact and to know each other um, means you can delegate tasks to the right people and sometimes it's 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 not the role that that decides about the task. It, sometimes it's it's the, the personal strengths of the of the of the team member. Um, so we can match the the right talent with the right challenge. It's important for people to know what they want. How can you move forward? How can you progress? How can you progress in conversations? How can you progress in difficult situations? How can you? expand yourself. It's my role to create the comfort and the environment where they feel um, content and good and, and uh, confident that they can get where they need to be. See diversity. See diversity. See diversity. As opportunity. As opportunity. Diversity for me is variety. It's a, a variety of um, opinions, it's a variety of approaches, it's a variety in knowledge, in experience, it's the um, material that you bring with you, it's the experiences that are embedded in your tissue. It, it, brings in extra. Diversity is always something extra in a positive way. So I'd like to really give responsibility to people, making sure that they understand what they need to do and then go, go for it. Especially working with different cultures and having teams in the US and in India. Um, diversity is, is crucial for an intelligent debate. Yeah, it's difficult for, for leaders to be to excel in, in every single aspect. There are different strengths where um, then you can leverage them in, in, in certain occasions better than others. My motivation comes from saving effort, saving time, to always look, is there room for improvement? Autonomy, being given responsibility is one of the, the things that makes work as much fun as it is. I think it's very important for people to go to work 
uh, happy and but also to go home happy. And I think that if you look at people, process, um, product, I think probably for everyone they need to decide what is more or important. I mean, I would say um, people and product probably are somewhat more important than process. Um, that doesn't mean I, I don't like process, but particularly now in the, in the terms of in the times of COVID, um, I mean, you feel even more how important it is to work with people you like. So because the, the personal um, discussions at the coffee machine, um, being in, in Hamburg, being in India, being in Bucharest in the office, the, the social component is a lot less at the moment uh, due to the circumstances. So I do see this as, a, as an important ingredient for me for um, enjoying, let's say, my day-to-day -day work. And for you? us you want to know what, what we would yeah i would say for me it's it's more like the, the people i'm surrounded with um because i feel like in the end when i work with people i like and i feel like i can connect to them and we have a shared vision and way of working um then i think the connection to the product or the the company i work for uh, it comes itself i was a freelance for a really long time and I really enjoy working alone, actually. <laughs> uh, so, and this is kind of different because it's like in a company I value the people, but then when I'm working alone, uh, like I really like this a lot, and it's only about the project in the end. Then you're talking to the walls and whatever moves. <laughs> people in HR have always been the driving force, but I do like process, uh, like HR technology that automate things that in turn make people's lives better. So I can see some similarities between um, kind of the automation part that Sarala does and the making of the individuals who work at those organizations' lives better. Everyone needs to decide for themselves I mean, where you feel the passion, where you your strengths are, uh, and where you can excel as a leader. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. You've heard from our leaders. Now we want to hear from you. Write down in the comments below which leadership principle speaks to you and why. See you next time in our video series, Leadership Principles.